as they grow older and at the same time the man them behaving as though them burn out so how do we resolve it now so when a woman reach 50 and feeling sexy is the 50 year old man able to manage her or the 50 year old man burn out because him think him could have done it when he was a teenager is issues I want to raise up on. Raise up on. I want some women to eventually give me a link and tell me about their personal experiences and their desire for sex. Because in the teenage life, there is desire. And there's a time when some women, when they get past this menopause stage, it reach a level of disgust. So sex is no longer desire, it's a disgust. What is it that causes that? Is it an attitude? Is it a mentality? Is it the fact that Christian teachings impose upon our, on our thinking that sex is a dirty. I think, you know, tell you something, it's a serious form of exercise, it's a serious form of recreation, it's a tension reliever, it creates positive hormones, it's something that we should think about positively because it could be a, a new way to regenerate relations if we simply change our meditation Is there any great difference between sexuality and spirituality? Because could they be the same energy? Our spirituality and our sexuality. Yeah, we could think about those types of energy. And perhaps we can be feel good about our sexuality and no longer feel ashamed. Of this great virtue serious thing christianity is a serious condemnation force on sexuality the impression they try to give you that even jesus the christ never had any sex but the the the, the research is proving that jesus and mary magdalene were husband and wife yeah man so he used to do him thing too so don't feel say any man could have grown up in africa for so long and never had sex with all those beautiful, sexy African women surrounding him, he would have to be totally insane. So if we were ever to be taught about the sexuality of Jesus, I tell you the church, then would have just mush up. If you know, that was a girl's man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Enough daughter and all of youth and them things. The whole the, the dolly also the mash up. And the woman them would rebel for no say them a whole lamp and the thing so long. And it never necessary. They could have freed up themselves long time ago. What a piece of energy. <laughs> Jesus and Mary Magdalene, and them used to drop it together. Oh, and she could have, could have ride all the way to, no, no. Yeah.
Yeah, metamorphosis. We are on the final stages now, and I really want to expand this reason a little bit further into the next program. But I want some females to make a contribution because I am saying to the item now, we didn't know our makeup as African people. Our sexuality is a part of our serious power. The hips movement, the pelvic activity of the African woman, the whole notion of our sen of our sensuality. All of those things, we can't deny them anymore. But we can't behave as though we don't have any control of ourselves. So we want to liberate sexuality. Yeah, we're not liberating. We're not talking about free sex all about the place. You know. Everybody catch up on the place having sex. You know. That's not the idea. The idea is a thought process, recognizing that sex is a creative energy. And if you don't exercise it in a practical way, you can do things with that creative energy. You can write and you can dance and you can do other cultural activities with that creative energy. So sexual energy doesn't have to be ex ex exercised by engaging in sex. But recognize that it's a creative energy and can be used in other areas. Just know and master yourself. It's a divine creative energy. Just be the master of that energy. Hey, metamorphosis. I think we're on the winding up now. But you know, say so even in Jamaica now, with this whole excitement about ganja being decriminalized, I want to know if the country is still a problem to the police. Because they may lock you one time, even find with a chalice, or even find you with a country. So we want to know if the country is still illegal, or is it the ganja decriminalized? But the paraphernalia still gets you committed. More clarity is needed in this law. We are golden. We are golden. 